Jeb Hartness and Chance Moore. Miami under the direction of their 13th year head coach, Jim Laranega. UCF under the direction of the Duke grad from 1986, Johnny Dawkins underway from the Watsko Center tonight. Miami with possession of the basketball first here this evening. We'll get Poplar with the basketball. He hands it off to Bensley Joseph in the corner. Poplar for three. Ah, the gates were off. It was DeMar Langford Jr. who came up empty in a turnover. Langford with the ball. He puts it up. And a tap back is in for the big man, Omar Payne, the fifth year forward. And those loose balls are out there. We've got to get those. Here's Omir to the hoop with the right hand off the glass and good. In the paint. Swat of the way, triple team. There's a turnover. Matthew Cleveland has it. Hands it off to Bensley Joseph, near side. Oh! That's, good. That's big for the Miami Hurricanes. The fifth year guard on the wing, inside. Up a strong finish. That's Jalen Sellers. Long threes equal long rebounds. Gonna work it down low. And the paint is strong. Finish for DeMar Langford Jr. He was the Midwest region's most outstanding player in the NCAA tournament last year. High screen from Nawalko. Matthew Cleveland in the paint. Off balance. Floor is good. It's a great attack by Matthew Cleveland. He's so dynamic. He played the guard from the wing and drive. We want to see a lot more paint touches by Miami. Coast to coast. Darius Johnson. This UCF team is definitely on attack mode. What you want to see, you want to see early, you want to attack the basket, you want to attack the defense. Well, the pop three in the face for a hammer. Diallo, here's that pop for three again. Ball goes down low for Ibrahima Diallo, and the bucket is good. Here's George, the freshman. He pulls up. Shot no good. And it'll be Miami basketball. Ten newcomers played for UCF on Monday. There's a takeaway. Wide open, Omir. He'll put it their feet here for West Coast Center. Big fella down low, shot no good. Here come the Canes, three on two in transition. Nigel Peck all the way to the rack. He scores, he'll go to the free throw line. One stop the ball. Somebody has to stop the ball. Look at that last. Nigel needed that basket. I, I, I believe next time down the floor, we're going to see a Nigel Peck three. If he's open, he's letting it fly. As a scorer, you will, all you need to do is see the ball go in. Turnaround jumper, good for Sellers. Back third team last year, shot 45% from three, averaged 13 and a half points a game. Omir for three, straight away, no good, off the left side of the iron. Ooh. North was a little bit hesitant on that shot. There's Johnson after an extended break on the bench. Thought about it for a but he's really quick with the basketball. In the paint, spins on Bensley Joseph. He might have got a piece of the basketball. Poplar. Off the bench, 4-3, buries it, he's on fire. Here's a look at that last three. And now UCF is so shooting the ball with so much confidence. He works on that transition three a lot in practice. Now a three on the other end, no good for the Knights. University of Missouri, Kansas City, the Ruse. Packed from the elbow, left hand up and good. Great move by Knight. He's getting the paint, showing that he can finish the ball at the basket as well. He's got such a crafty way of finding just a little bit of space for an undersized guard. He can get to the rack. Here's a spin move on A.J. Casey by Omar Payne. Transferred to Jacksonville where he was last season, and now he's in Orlando this year. Matthew Cleveland will pull up for three. That's no good. Good look. Poplar hit the deck. He's back on his feet. Sellers deep three from the orange in the logo, no good. And Miami comes down with a rebound. They're lucky. Great touch on that floater right there. Kings lead 30 to 16. Wide open, far side, corner three. Rattles in and out, an offensive rebound for the big guy, Jalen Sellers. Yeah, you want to capitalize on those turnovers. Sure, Coach Dog is talk about that at halftime. Langford buying up Matthew Cleveland. He spins in the paint, and that thing is blocked. And Three Joseph just Cleveland. got pushed. He's buried a couple of threes, the only two threes UCF has made tonight. 
Good defense by Bensley Joseph. Reward him, reward him. Got to give it back to him. Nigel Pack over to Joseph for three. And it's good. Barry. Horn. He wanted to shoot a three. Norchad is doing his job early. He's not waiting for him to catch the play defense. Do your work early. Matthew Cleveland wide open for three. No good. It's short offensive rebound for Norchad O'Meara. How about that silky smooth move? Tan finish for Norchad O'Meara. Canes lead by 16. Halt the things momentarily. So 17-25 left to go. Miami leading by 16. They inbound the ball to Norchad O'Meara who goes up strong. He misses. The shot was too strong from the left side. Both teams 1-5 of five from the field to start the second half about three minutes in. UCF has got to get going or this one's on the verge of getting out of control. That's a nice shot there for Darius Johnson. So, I don't see this press being an issue at all. They break it because they've got Norchad who can dribble. They get it back to him, and he gets fouled on his way up. They're going to give him the bucket. Yes! Wow! But boy, they let the continuation go there. Oof. Casey guarding Silla. They get it down low for Diallo. Working on Omir. Here's a three. Silla buries it. It's a 10-point game. So it's a 14-point game, under nine left to play. UCF is just hanging around. We'll get Poplar back in as Sellers skies and he hits. We haven't seen Sellers attacking the basket happening every time he's attacking the basket. Foul on Nigel Pack, an and one opportunity for Sellers. Johnson's got 13, those two are on the floor. They've combined for half of UCF's points. Joseph up and under with the right hand. What a finish, Spencer Joseph. Miami by 13. Now Sellers working on Pack. He fouled again, and Sellers finishes another. It's a big guard. He uses his body, and he's a lefty. I got tight. A little shove, a little shove right there, though. 17 for O'Meara, 10 for Cleveland, 13 for Joseph. He's too shy of a career high. Poplar, 5 of 6 from the field. He's got 20 points. Seller to the rack. Give him the bucket and a foul. Ball. And yeah. ooh, ooh, ooh. So five, go. now down to four. Here comes Pack with two. Can he take it all the way? Coast and coast! Whoa! Back up top. Well, Johnson not looking to shoot that three. Here's Mahovsky. He loves the fire away for three. He hits it. Can't it's a nine-point game. And now Cleveland with a turnover. Here's Johnson for three. It could be a six-point game. He misses it. O'Meara with the rebound. Uh, Bensley Joseph trying to settle things down. Norchad O'Meara brings it across half court. Here's a corner three. Wooga Poplar! Wooga Poplar. He's got 23. Now a takeaway by Miami. Here comes Bensley Joseph in transition. He makes it. The lead is 14 with under two minutes left to play. Kane's trying to put it on ice. Another near turnover. Miami is going to take it away. Diallo's going to be assessed a foul. Mahovsky's had a great night, the freshman. Yes. Here's a deep three. On the way, no good. Bensley Joseph with the rebound. Boy, UCF made it interesting. They had it down to seven here in the second half. Here's Pack with a floater and a runner, and it's good. Pack has really showed that his mid-range inside the paint game has went to another level. We're so used to him shooting deep threes, three-point shots. It's a 9 run for, for Miami. Points. There's a tip by Poplar. Here comes O'Meara. The Canes aren't slowing down. O'Meara trying to go coast to coast with a right hand. It's a 20-point game. They are not it's an 11-0 run for Miami and a 13-3 run. Here's a three. No good. Offensive rebound. They get it down low for Diallo. But this baby is just about over as Diallo makes a bucket to end the 11-0 drought. Clock down low for Cleveland corner. Poplar thought about a three. He pulled it out. He's going to pull up. Fade away. Ooh, he just missed. Came up short. Great elevation by Wiggins on that shot. Miami's going to come away with a win here tonight as Sellers with a put back is good. Miami's going to win this thing 88-72, to but boy, UCF in 2-0 to start the season as Jim Laranega takes care of Johnny Dawkins' UCF Knights here in Coral Gables tonight. Jack, your, your closing thoughts. This is a little messy here tonight, but Miami comes out with a win.